Hi there. Welcome to Man and Machines AutoCAD Electrical 2021 demonstration of what's new. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of all the new features available in AutoCAD Electrical 2021. So the first thing I'd like to show you is the new ability that should have always been there, to be honest, but it now works. Um, the new ability to select the open project and have it go directly to your specified location. This is controlled by the environment file, the wd.emv file in the background. Um, if we go here to my environment here, we've got an environment file and we've got a specific line which controls where the software will look for your projects, which is this line here. WD pick project DLG and you can see here there's my file path and obviously you remove the uh, the star before the line makes the line active and then it'll override the starting subdirectory for the pick project button that never used to work for some reason but now it does so that's good so in 2020 they jazzed up all the icons so they look a bit more Colourful, there's a bit more contrast there, so it should be easier for your uh, eyes to navigate around the interface. So in 2021, what they've done is they've done the same for the icon menu. If I click on the icon menu there, you can see now there's a bit more colour, a bit more sharpness to the icons, a bit more contrast there. Um, therefore, it should be easier for your eyes to pick out what you're looking for quicker. And then it should be a little bit less distracting from the actual drawing space as well. So if you're working on a dual screen and maybe you have your icon menu open, you know, it, apparently it's meant to be a little bit better for your eyes and less distracting when you're working on your drawing space as well. So this next edition is a little bit of a game changer, actually. You can see here if I select my catalogue browser, um, I've got in there the search for Eaton at the moment and I've got this new button over here called Global Search. This Global Search will allow me to search the entire catalogue database. Um, previously we used to have to specify which table we wanted to search and then search that table so we had to know what family we were looking for before we could start searching which was okay um, because typically you would know but occasionally you might just want to see what eaten parts you've got in your um, in your catalog as a whole and now you can do that by selecting global search that will then give me the results of my search and you can see on the left hand side there you've got each table that contains eaten components so for example you've got circuit breakers control relays and you've got motor starters there, push buttons, etc., etc., terminals. And you can see here the count for each table. So there's 26 entries in the terminal table. And there you go, those are my 26 entries there. I've got one entry here um, for a timer. I've got uh, selector switches, 319 entries there, circuit breakers, thousands there. So yeah, that makes it very easy to quickly search through um, your entire catalogue using the global search tool there. Uh, this is something that was actually uh, risen on the, uh, or escalated on the idea station and it got lots of votes and the development team uh, managed to get it added in for this release, which is great. Another improvement that's been made in 2021 is the breaker coil symbols now works again as you would expect um, so if we look at a, a thermal circuit breaker here and I place it down on this line here and build it to the right like so what we can see now is if I have a look up and I look at my favorite breakers here and we just have a quick look at the pin list just to show you that. I have coil pins, which is essentially the parent symbol. And then I've got the uh, the child pin list there. Um, so if I select that component now, it automatically puts the coil pins in the parent symbol. And 
it will then create and build the child symbols and put the pin numbers in for those uh, symbols as well. You see it's syncing it up there with my panel layout. Just get rid of this reference. We don't need the reference in this case. So you can see there's my parent symbol and my two child symbols linked to the parents. And just to finish the shape off, or finish the symbol off, I should say, I'll click in there, copy the, the third pole to make a fourth. And you can see, because it's a copy of the third, you can see the pins there picking up the same uh, as the third pole. But if I click list, you can see I've got a spare pole there, not used, L4 and T4, and I can select those and put them in like so. Again, it's referenced because it's not linked, so I'll link the two components up, which will remove the reference and finally hide the attribute. So yeah, previously, there was a little bit of confusion between a coil and a parent when it comes to breakers, because obviously breakers in this case don't have a coil, um, like a relay or a contactor does. So there was a bit of confusion. It didn't quite work as it you'd hope it would work, but they seem to put that right in this version and it now works nicely. So that's it for the demonstration today. Um, those points there are the ones that I can show you and demonstrate on the video and there are a few additional points notes to to the to the 2021 version um, and I will put those in the man and machine what's new or kind of electrical 2021 blog on our website thank you for watching as I say you can find out more information on our website if you've got any questions please feel free to go to our website and contact us thanks bye